This Heroku Showcase demonstrates three deployment methods, different ways of getting your app from a code base into a running application on Heroku. Heroku's longest supported deployment method uses Git. Here, we clone an example Node.js application, giving us a local Git repository. When we run Heroku create, an empty app is created on Heroku. Because we ran the command from inside the Git repository, it also created a Git remote called Heroku. We can now use Git to push our code to the Heroku remote with Git push Heroku master. And here's our deployed app. Deploying changes is just a matter of committing the changes to your repo and then performing another git push. Here, we're just going to make a change to the title, commit the changes, and perform another git push in order to deploy. Now, when we open our app, we'll see the change. If you link your GitHub account to Heroku, you can deploy code to Heroku directly from GitHub. You can also configure automatic deployments for whenever new code is pushed to a specific branch. You configure GitHub deployments from the Deploy tab. After authorizing a connection with GitHub, just search for the repo that you want to associate with the app and connect the two. Now you can manually deploy a branch of the app directly from GitHub. After a little while, you'll get a link to your deployed app. And now it's running. You can also set up automatic deploys so that any changes to a branch you specify are automatically deployed, or only when CI passes. Let's change the banner title in the app's repo directly on GitHub. Of course, you can do this locally and push the changes up to GitHub to accomplish the same thing. After committing the change, Heroku will pick up the code and deploy your app again. Let's switch back to the app and hit refresh. There we go. The simplest deployment method is to push a button. Here you'll see Heroku fetch the code at the GitHub repo where the Heroku button is located, create an application, and deploy the code to the application. This is great for sample or template applications and open source repos too. Here's the running app. The Heroku button can be enabled on GitHub repos by embedding an app.json file and then creating a link in the readme. The show notes reference documentation on the Heroku Dev Center. Check them out to learn more about deploying to Heroku and see the other showcase videos to learn about other deployment techniques. Thank you for watching this Heroku showcase.